Ready? One, two, three. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're going to take a bit of a detour from our regular video schedule today and get crafty. I came up with this idea for a DIY. I really want to do it. So here we are, making Game of Thrones dragon egg bath bombs with a hidden surprise inside. Is it gonna work? I don't know, but we're gonna do it anyway. But also, let's use this time to answer the question, why do bath bombs fizz? To make these dragon egg bath bombs, you're going to need. The main ingredients are citric acid and bicarbonate of soda. I got mine online, but you can get them from large supermarkets. And then red, green, and yellow colorings. These are safe to use and mimic the colors of the Game of Thrones dragon eggs. A spray bottle with some water, an egg mold, Glitter is optional, as are essential oils. A bowl with some gloves, because safety first. And these, bath beans. They melt away when you put them in water to reveal sponges. I got dinosaurs because they didn't have dragons. To make one dragon egg, I used half a cup of citric acid to one cup of bicarbonate of soda, and this two to one ratio works really well. So put those in a bowl and get your gloves on because things are about to get messy. Add about 10 drops of colour to your mix and get in there with your hands and mix it really well. I then added more colour because I wanted it to be a nice deep red. Here's a good place to put in glitter if you want it, this is optional but it adds a bit of magic. And then mix it up really well. I found I got a nice consistency just from the colour. You want it to be a bit like wet sand when you squeeze it in your hand but if you need it add a spritz of water, just don't go overboard. I did exactly the same for a yellow dragon egg and a green dragon egg. The only difference is I added some essential oil. So this here is some satsuma oil that I'm putting into the yellow egg. Now the mixture's ready, it's time to fill up your egg mold. So go ahead and fill one half, but then make a little space because this is where you're going to hide your bath bean. And it will stay hidden inside the bath bomb until the dragon egg is put into the water and it'll be a really cool surprise. Now fill up the other half and don't be afraid to overfill it because when you put them together, you see you do lose a little bit out of the sides. And now put this mold aside for around half an hour. I then took mine out of the mould because I needed to reuse the mould to make two other dragon eggs, but ideally you want to leave it to dry inside the mould for around four hours or so. Whilst I'm waiting for the dragon eggs to dry for a couple of hours, let's talk about the science of bath bombs. Why do they fizz? And well, that's actually because of these two ingredients, the citric acid and what was the bicarbonate of soda. When you mix them with water, they dissolve and the citric acid reacts with the bicarbonate of soda to make sodium citrate and carbon dioxide. Sodium citrate stays in the solution and you don't really notice it, but as we know, carbon dioxide is a gas and we see it as lots of tiny, tiny bubbles. And this is the fizz that we experience when the bath bomb is dropped in the water. However, enough chemicals, I wanna show you the final result. And this is how the green one turned out. This is the pink one and, <laughs> right, we've still got to undo the yellow, so wish us luck. Oh my God, that's the best one! Look at that! Wow, that is orangey. Look at that! I think they're really blooming good, don't you? But the big question, is will they work in the water? Welcome everybody to the bathroom. We are going to pick a bath bomb and see how this goes. Should we do the red one? So let's see what happens. Ah! Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! Well, I didn't expect that to be quite so effective. Oh, look, and it's got all the gold glitter bits. Look at that. But, but, the most exciting thing is yet to come. Will we find the dragon inside? Those are the dragon slash dinosaurs. There it is. Dragon! I am so excited about that. Wow, okay, well thank you for joining me on my little DIY experiment, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see some more DIYs. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you soon.